one, so I just went ahead and left. <laughs> I had one to to not show up, so it kind of it definitely helped me. Well, the days are longer now, so it it's, it's sure easy to do this, especially mm -hmm. now. Is it five yet? About two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Here, if I go ahead and go get started. Oh, no. um, it is uh, March the 29th at 4.58, and I'm going to call this meeting to order. I hope everybody's had a chance to look at the agenda, and if there's anything that we need to move or add to it. Barring somebody has a suggestion, I move, move we approve it as written. Okay. So, second that. Unanimous. Okay. And again, I've had enough time to look at the uh, minutes for February the 22nd meeting. Yeah, it's approved. It looks good. Okay. I'll approve the motion to approve the dress. Second. Unanimous. And since we have no one here for public comment, we're just going to go right on ahead unless you've got something you want to. <laughs> okay. The fly on the wall. <laughs> okay. We're going to look at our financial report right quick. And since Sonia's not here, but she left us a printout of it, um, I know we're a little bit. spent a little bit more on the concert than what was anticipated, but we're still good with our car show budget and our passport budget. I've still got some money in it to pay for the t-shirts. And actually, um, one of the school, after school things hit me up for 50 more books. And so I went ahead and done it because we've, we've used them all. Great. I mean, it has been a, it's been a good thing. It looks like on Facebook, I mean, it was taken off. I've uh -huh. seen pictures of people at all these places. It's great. For it's great. Three or four days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll give you an update on all the old business. And first of all is that passport book. We handed out the last six today, and it's been a huge success for the tourists and the residents. Um, I've had to revise the original grant request because Sonia said that she wouldn't put the money toward the, the grant money toward it because I didn't do it the way that it, it was sent in to the grant to Great Smoky Helps. But I spoke to Melanie at Great Smokies and she was totally fine with me spending the money on the passport books and the mosquito repellent and the fanny packs opposed to what was in the original and that was to buy azalea bushes so she was good with it we got it revised and the six months thing in march the 31st should be sent in everything looks good to go with it and we're done with it as of today all of them have been turned or handed out except for the 50 that i've ordered for the um, after school program for the Snowbird Youth Center, it's going to start this summer, and I ordered 50 more for them. Our Taylor Hicks concert, the tickets that have been sold on the Ticket Leap have been, they've averaged out to, this was just the other day, it's like 2,400, but she said it's basically up to 2,400 now. And then the students have sold 58 tickets or more. And I've honestly not got a count from the businesses that have them and sold them, but I know that uh, the Graham County Tourism down there, they're selling them pretty good too, especially to the uh, tourists that come through. So it's, it's moving slowly, but hopefully within this month, we can kind of pick it up and get a lot of that sold. We've put a lot of money into it, and I know the school has put a lot of time into it. Um, the old business on the car show, we went and handed out flyers to different places, different counties, and we've emailed them to several people that were interested in it. Um, I've ordered 
two banners from Savnac that we'll keep year after year that we can just put up from each car show. I've got the signs, the yard signs ordered, and there's a couple of them put up, and then I'm not gonna put any more up until like next week, because I just wanted to make sure they were gonna do. The three banners that we've got hung up, um, I'm having issues with the one over there on the Stikoa side. We have to go and kind of straighten it out every day or two. And I don't know if you have noticed the billboards. There's one in Murphy, and then there's one down here at the school intersection. Yeah, Those have been a big hit with the tourists. I know they've kind of reached out to the Graham County Tourism because that's where they go to, to get, you know, their feedback on stuff. Um, let's see here. I've got to actually write a check for our part of that billboard. And um, I got my judges picked. There's two males and one female, and hopefully everything will go good with those three people. And they're all ready to kind of come and give their judgment on the different vehicles, different cars, different motorcycles, Jeeps. And I've even had a lot of um, Corvette owners showing interest and wanting to bring their Corvettes out. That's another thing I wanted to ask you about. Um, the photographer, George Evans has, uh, is gonna do the photography for the cars and he's got a drone camera and he wants to kind of get a, up above the whole area and get a good picture of it. I'm trying to come up with an idea for the 150th too, to kind of get a good above everything picture for that. And he is going to be doing the calendar if you go down to the school where you go in the new entrance, if you're coming back out, we've picked an area there where there's some grass and the red barn can be seen behind it. And we think that'll be a good place to kind of get the pictures for the cars, for the calendar and, and then just some other stuff really. Um, now, the magnets. I sent you all them pictures, didn't I? Yeah. Of the magnet that we, were y'all pleased with that? Yes, I was. Okay. Yeah, I, like I got a hundred of the ones with the black knight head on it, and then I got 50 of the ones with the red heart. I know we'll be giving out most of them to the um, participants in the car show, but the other ones we can sell. I think it was a good idea to add the 150th to it, plus um, just, you know, it shows that it's our second annual car show. Hopefully we can keep that going too. I think a magnet will be a good idea for everybody. Um, the jump house. I was informed that we had to cancel it due to the insurance liabilities with the school. I know the kids last year liked it. I just don't know what else to, to put there to involve them or give them something to do that we don't have to be over because last year the jump house committee was over it. They brought their jump house in, they sat there with it, they let the kids jump, and we just kind of paid them to let the kids have fun. If you haven't come up with any ideas for the kids, let me know. Because I'm open to suggestions on it. I mean, are we gonna have vendors there? I mean, do you, do you know if the shaved ice place is gonna be down there? Shaved stuff? ice is definitely gonna be there. We've got 10 vendors yep. and, um, one of them is kind of focused around junk food for the kids, yeah. so pickles. I mean, yeah, walking around eating snacks, mm -hmm. I mean, kids yeah. like that. Okay. But if you think of anything that you want me to add to it, I will. I just, you know, that's about all I could think of as a jump house. And our DJ and sound is Josh Turner. He still hasn't got back to me other than he said that he was committed to doing it. One thing for kids down there, I mean, like, I don't know anybody that has this and I don't have any, but you know, those little RC cars around that track. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know if kids could do something with that or if there's an idea there, it's probably yeah. too late to involve that yeah. this year, but you could have some sort of little RC car thing going over yeah. there. Yeah, that know. is a good idea for maybe next year. Yeah. Look into that. Yep. Yeah. Um, so our volunteers, Wrapped up, I 
I approached them and asked them if they would be willing to volunteer and he said that he would have several of his people come and, and help with it. I mean, I think we've been very well, we've helped revved up a lot mm -hmm. with stuff, so I think that's their way of saying thank you. We'll, we'll donate our time for that. That'd be great. Yeah, and then I've got three other people that had said they would commit their time to it. Um, the letters and the liabilities have been sent out to the participants and the vendors. I've left it sitting out here in the front. There's been several <coughs> vendors signed up for it. We've got already 10 of those and several more that's told me they're coming in this week. As far as the car show, I know that's one of them things, Richard, that you said they just kind of show up that day and do it. We've not- a lot of them. Okay. Just, just do it. Yeah. How, how many have registered so far? Three different ones, but they've got, you know- Multiple cars. Multiple cars, yeah. And then what, are, are they gonna be different classes or are we gonna publicize different classes? Of yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do the um, 12 different classes that we did like, well, not 12 different classes, oh, goodness, but it's like no. six different classes. Uh, custom car and truck, classic car and truck, um, help me out, antique. Yeah, yeah, we had that. Antique car and truck and then our Jeep and our kids choice and our motorcycle. And rat rod. That was one thing I'm needing your help with, Richard. The guy that's doing the trophies, he said, what, what is the rat rod division? He said, what do I need to look for? So if you can find some pictures of some rat rods. and It's like, basically anything thrown together. <laughs> that's basically it. Okay. They'll use stuff from old tiny plows and... Uh -huh. Everything like that. So they just kind of cut their car up and just made they it. Throw all big. kinds of stuff in it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're nice. they're nice looking, but they're really weird too. There's one of our Andrews last year. One of these old double hand saws. That was his visor. Wow. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, and then he had another one in the bag. They call it a rope hand. Mm -hmm. They wave your bumper and it tucks it in. He had it made up as his rope hand. Okay. And then they might use just old, an old piston or something for a shifter and I mean they just anything and everything. Okay. But I, I, I can look up some pictures and see. Okay. Well I know our judges will need a little bit of help with that one too. <clears throat> yeah I'll get yeah. some pictures. No big deal. Like. <laughs> okay. So as long as he has like a trophy with just some piston. Yeah or maybe even I know you've probably heard of the old rat think back in the day. Yeah. Maybe even a thing of a rat. Okay. Something oh, like that is a good even. idea. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I am working with the uh, Showtime Sports in Asheville to get our trophies. I just did, I wasn't successful with the other group that we used last year. And I had went to a car show up there, and <coughs> they used that company for their trophies and I think they'll do us a good job. I wanted to have pictures by this time, but they're very busy right now with school sports and everything. Um, do Yuns want to add any other kind of trophy, like Corvette trophy or, uh, I don't think we're gonna get to do the burnout. Cause I don't, I just don't see Angie giving us the okay to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but do we want to do one where we, you know, where they got up there and seen who was the loudest? Do we Everybody likes that too. I mean, that's not yeah. really damaging anything. No. Except their own car. Do you want me to get a trophy for that? I would. You would? Most of the time they just do it for the fun of it. Okay. Was this loudest or best sounding, or how do you judge that? Well, how was it last year? It was uh, the yellow. Yeah, you just get one at a time, come up there, and they just go for a minute, and then mm -hmm. most of them go off about how many people clout and haul. Yeah, and stuff by like the that. crowd's cheer. If nothing else, maybe a gift certificate. I know, I thought something about that too. Just something small. Mm -hmm. But most places don't even do nothing, really. Okay. It's <clears throat> just something to think about. Okay. Well, I'm open to whatever Yens want me to do. But I've got the trophies going with that guy and hopefully they'll 
they'll be pretty good. I should show you a picture of what he actually had sent me as far as um, because he was he was just said, "What is a rat body?" Okay. No, that's not it. I can't find it. Anyway, so we'll just work on that. I won't worry about the one that's the loudest. So we've got the historical bunch set up with um, a TV and I'm gonna have some pictures picked out to screen across through there for the <coughs> celebration of the 150th. A lot of people are wanting to give their memorabilia from the 100th celebration. And if there's anything else that you guys can think of I know the historical bunch also said they were going to bring Rodney's old car, oh, his yeah, NASCAR, race car. Yeah, <coughs> his race car. That's something like what that car is. Okay. Just where there's all kinds of. Yeah, I can definitely tell that's been put there. together with uh, <laughs> several things. Hmm. Okay. I'd find a few more and I'll see it. Okay. All righty. So if there's anything else Shins can think of as far as that, let me know. And I'm continuing to go around and get several items, just businesses giving me things to give away or the hour upon the hour giveaway like we did last year. It's been easy because they're willing to, you know, they're tickled to death that we're yeah. kind of doing this. Put, uh, put my shop down for a oil change. Okay, I will do that. So you have to six quarts. be a good thing then. Alrighty. The school choir at 11 o'clock when it gets ready to start, I want them to um, sing the national anthem. Just something to kind of get it going and then after that we're just going to set in with the car show. I thought that would be a good thing to bring the kids into it other than just um, the band and hopefully they'll get out there and vote too. Um, our RTA director position, we had two applicants turned in for it and then when we go into closed session I'll I'll give them to you and some you look over it. And um, now if it's all right with Jones we'll go into the <coughs> new business. <coughs> So this is my thoughts on all the volunteers, all the people that's going to be helping out, and some of the band members. Um, I would like to have you set a date so that we could have like a get together and everybody get on the same page. I'd like for um, Richard to kind of take over the part of it to where that we are going to be instructing all the people to bring in their cars. I, I don't want the, the volunteers to come in and just be standing there wondering what to do. I want them to know what we want them to do yeah. before they even get to it. Do you, do you need, uh, as people come in, I mean, there's, there's a couple of ways in there, but do you need, at the point they drive in, do you need areas separated and then people directed so that a rat rod's not next to the Corvette Club. Or right. Are you going to yeah. kind of separate like that? I like it like that, but a lot of them I go to, they just park them. Yeah. So I don't really, it, to me, as long as the people with their the cars, spot, yeah. it seems like it'd be easier to judge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you, if you got Corvettes, we, you just mentioned them, we'll use those. To, to fairly judge them, it seems like they should all be together. Yeah, because if you got yeah. two here and one here and one over here and one over there, yeah. they're jumping back and forth. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to mark this one down. But you get over here and say, well, no, I like this one better. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's <clears> that <throat> way. It's all. I do too. I, I agree. The yeah. problem with the logistics of that is we don't know how many Corvettes we're going to get yeah. the day of, right. like I said. I mean, well, I wanted to have like a place set up and even a sign, you know, just so it would show Corvettes here, or rat rods here, or custom cars here. Yeah. But you'll have to be the one that kind of 
tells us what category what's a custom <laughs> car or a classic <laughs> or a yeah, it's kind of classic. It really varies, really. Uh huh. I mean, but we we figure it out. Okay. I know last year we didn't get it exactly right, but it was seemed to be close. Well, before we do the show, I want to go over there with you, and we'll just kind of figure out where what's at. And the buses will be moved this year because last year they wasn't moved and they was yeah. kind of in the way too. Well, and another thing too, like I said, we just need really one way in. Yeah, the or participants today was parking inside where the car show was. Yeah, and it wasn't taped off yeah. before that. You they know, they can just park coming down and park because it's using both entrances. Yeah, but you could, if you just had some little signs, in case like Richard's doing it, but then has to do something else, and there's a volunteer there you know, that say custom or Corvette or, mm -hmm. or truck or, you know, whatever they are. So it kind of help guide them. Right. As yeah. Where, where something should go. And then, and there's always something showing up. You can't figure out where to put it. That's it. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of them, they'll just have it listed as such and such, and it'll go from such and such year to another year. Mm -hmm. But yet it can still qualify as another yeah. vehicle. Yeah. So, Oh, and, so, and people know their car. Yeah. You know, if I own one of these, I'm going to know I've got yeah. a. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we, we don't have to know it as much. You know? <laughs> They'll know. Yeah. yeah. They'll know where it should be. Well, that's like that one I go to Mighty Valley, which is just Jeeps only. You get to pick your owner. You put oh. it in whatever you want to. Because mm -hmm. they have, like last year, I put mine in trail rig. But yet I could have picked modified, or I could have picked something else, and blah blah blah, and mm -hmm. like that. But the year before they picked it. Yeah. So, so it just kind of varies. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, we'll kind of work with you on that too. We'll figure we'll it out. We'll figure it out. I definitely do want the participants to come in on the new side. Yeah. And the people that are coming to the car show to look at the cars to come in from the Sweetwater side, and I want to have it blocked off. I've already got me some of that tape. Yeah, that way they can just drive right straight mm -hmm. through. Yeah, because that could have been a a little dangerous with yeah. the kids that was running around. Yeah. Okay. But during April, would you be here? Sometimes. Well, so. When is that, you might ask? I was going to kind of leave it all up to you. <coughs> I would prefer for it to be during the week, if at all possible. Time. The first, the first week of April, I'll be back here. Uh, the end of that week, because I'll be at the Board of Transportation in Raleigh. But then, coming back here and be here that Thursday and Friday. Okay. That, that probably means then I'll be out for most of two weeks after that. And then the spring break is the week of the tenth through the fifteenth. Right. So. That's not a good week. <laughs> I mean, we can either do it the, a, a day or an evening or I don't even care to even do it on a Sunday, you know, like a Sunday afternoon or something. But we need to do it definitely before. What do you, th what do you think about the week of the 18th through the 23rd? That's um, Easter week, right? Easter would have been yeah. that Sunday. Yeah. yeah, so we couldn't have done that then. Um, well, our our meeting will be on the 26th. Dion's wanted, I mean, I don't know. Just let that be something that happens after the meeting or part of the meeting. Yeah, yeah. we could move the meeting because I, I figure there are going to be several people and... Um, we would need to have it somewhere other than here. I would like to have some finger food or something. Take a little bit of money and spend some, and buy some finger foods or stuff. That that week of the 19th to the 22nd, I mean, or the 18th to the 22nd, I count Easter Monday, would be probably the time to do it. So you, I think if we do it before our meeting, then that meeting day, then we so. can kind of work it all out, because the next, Weekends, the car show. Yeah, that's right. Right. So, 
That's probably the best time. Okay. Well, I'll pick us out a date during that week, and I will let you know. Sounds good. Because I'm like Richard. I'm, you know, I can go with any <clears> of them. Yeah, but, later than me. Okay. And hopefully you'll be here. Maybe. Yeah. Be. Okay. All right. So I'll, I'll work on that and text you guys. Fishing Derby. June the 11th is the date that we've got set. And um, Jason Farmer with the Forest Service is going to help out with the event. I started checking in on the price of the fish, and it's a little bit higher than what it had been. It's $2.50 a pound. And from the previous years, we would get about 250 to 300 pounds of fish. Normally we would have those three different tanks and then we would put some fish in the creek. So we may have to get a little bit more fish this year. I don't know any, anywhere to go to to look for fish except I talked to Lamar Williams. He's got a fish hatchery. And that's the going price. I called around everywhere yeah. looking for it. And he was hoping that he would be able to have that, you know, 200 pounds of fish or whatever for us. You know, that's the going rate. I mean, I know. There's not much you can do. Mm -mm. I do still need to get up with Earl Sellers because he's the one that always cooked our hot dogs for us the years before. Hopefully he's willing to do it again. If not, then we'll have to kind of do that because we would always cook the kids a hot dog and yeah. um, chips and a drink. And, and if that didn't work, and provided, and I plan to for sure be here then because I've got probably grandkids would be involved. Mm -hmm. I can certainly help out with the grill. Okay. So look for Jan June the 11th for the fish fishing derby. I know the kids enjoy it. They really, really do. And anything you can think of, I've got to come up with some prizes and stuff. I've got to go and, and it looks like by what I've looked for in the room in there, there's not many fishing poles. The ones that are in there, they, they're a little damaged. So I may have to buy, oh, yeah. several kids show up and they don't have a fishing pole. So. No, oh, I, I think we should take care of that. Okay. What does the average fish weigh? In, in that? In this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I just wondered how many fish we're going to have. He told me they would be, like there's some big ones and they'll put them, they'll kind of divvy out the big ones and put them in each one of the tanks and then they'll even throw some in the creek for the big kids to fish with. I really don't know, Dirk, I'll have to ask. I mean, from what the kids caught whenever I was with them, they were about this big. And then they would be some big ones in there, but. So they average a, a pound of fish, or I don't think like half, maybe even yeah. like half a pound of fish. Yeah. So it'd be 500 fish if you averaged a half. You've got 250 pounds. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, it's important to have plenty of fish. That's sure. where I was going. Yeah, and the fish many... are kind of <clears throat> skittish and they don't bite. Well, they're in shock. I so guess. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we definitely want to put a, a net up on the creek because one year we didn't put a net up and they didn't catch any of them. But the people just went down below where we were got them. and got all kinds. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So we'll put the net up. Any volunteers for that? I'm going to hit people up to help volunteer for that too. It's but, only about three hours, but you know. Oh Yeah, if I'm here, I'll certainly help. It's a busy, it's a busy three hours. They like to catch them, but they don't like to get the fish on. So <laughs> I can put the worm on, but I don't know how to get them off <laughs> neither. Um, the maintenance men are already ready, getting the aerators ready <clears> for the <throat> pools, and the fire departments donate the pools to us, and we just have to take them down and clean them out. Got to get it promoted, and I'm not sure about how they'll allow the maintenance men to do the comp time or overtime, but they normally help out with filling the tanks up and all that good stuff. And my last thing that I wanted to talk to you, and it's kind of strange because Dirk was talking to Randy about the dedication of the bridges. 
I had had it on my mind the last time we done it, but I just had so much other stuff going on, but I would like for us to look into the dedicating of a bridge to our veterans. I don't think anything's been done yet for that. I spoke uh, to Harold. You can, you can look at that and I'll check. <coughs> To veterans in general, you could do. Yeah. Probably. There's a highway, Gold Star Highway in North Carolina, that's to all veterans. But but probably you could name something for Grand County veterans. Or, but I'll certainly check into that. Okay. And by the way, today is National Honor Vietnam Veterans Day. If I would have known that soon enough, I would have tried to have done something up around the veterans memorial stuff. Yeah. That might be something we want to think about next year. It would be neat if we could just fix up some little things, you know. The color for their Vietnam veteran is orange. You know, you can and do a you can do a bridge, but you can also do a road. Well, you know, that's where we kind of need you to <clears throat> you instruct us on what you think. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's it, provided it's acceptable. I mean, you know, it meets the criteria. It can be a road or, or a bridge. For example, in, in uh, Swain County, when you take the exit to go down by McDonald's, see, they've named that Veterans Boulevard. Right. right. That is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you want, you know, you could possibly, in theory, name the road from Five Point up into town. Veterans Boulevard, Veterans Drive. Uh, I assume you'd want to name something in town. Yeah. Uh, but it, I mean, it really don't matter just as long as we kind of honor our veterans. I mean, yeah. it's. And, and that, uh, even though it's in town, it also requires the approval of the, uh, for the most part, we like to have, they like to have a unanimous vote <coughs> from the county commissioners also. And that shouldn't be a a big uh, a big deal at all I would suggest just some conversations around about well what what road or bridge would we like to name mm -hmm. and I think you'll find it be very popular okay well I want to do it I, I would think that well I can't imagine who would right, right. Yeah. I want to kind of start thinking about it and I honestly thought that it had to be bridges I didn't know that you could do a whole road you can do a road and it can be there's a limit on how long it can be, but if you're naming around town, you won't have an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, then, and it to me would make sense to keep it closer to town for that problem. True. Yeah. For it's kind of a, a town idea. So then you just you just pick a pick a stretch of road or pick a a bridge and. See, see if everybody can come together on it. And it, um, <coughs> there's some fees associated with it, but we can, I'm on the bridge and road naming committee. So uh, I, I usually can be uh, helpful in getting things through. Okay. So are you going to think more so um, a road? To me, the the road is is nice because it's in town. Yeah, you know? I know. See, but I you didn't also that. right. No, mm -hmm. uh, the bridge. I would hesitate on Topton because that's just so far out there. True. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's right on the edge. You know, and, and part of Topton Bridge is in two other counties. Right. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. right there. <laughs> the first bridge going to the lake is. I mean, that's kind of an iconic Robbinsville Bridge. Mm -hmm. So I, I do like that one, but yeah, that the only. Right, that's, that's not having a name yet. Yeah, that would be a good one, and I mean that's that's kind of our. I mean, well, everybody coming across the dragon and everything mm -hmm. like that. I mean, but the the town would be nice. I, it would. I, I hate you, to copy Bryson wholeheartedly. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, <laughs> would be my I, only. I just, I just always liked that over there that they had done it. Yeah. You could, you could take the road from Five Point, come up through town, and, and go all the way down to to the red light as you leave town because you do have three points three miles or something you can do yeah uh hmm. i like both i do too and, yeah uh, <clears throat> then somebody has to has to do the work of, of getting together 
and I can get you in touch with the people with uh, with the DOT or or Paul Buchanan can tell you because she's just finished it. Uh, Vic Carringer and Chip could tell you. Uh, Leonard Phillips' family could tell you, and then of course the, the county commissioners just did it to Ronnie Millsap. Mm -hmm. We've yet to have any of those dedications, but they're I think being scheduled now. So, but there there are people around that are familiar with how to do it. Okay. <clears throat> and I would, I would think the county would want to help with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will get up with somebody then. You'll just have to kind of point me in the right direction. I, I would go talk to Becky Garland. Okay. With the county. Okay. Because she will have been in on a good bit of the Ronnie Millsap one. Okay. And then if you know Poss, yeah, you could talk to her because she's been all the way through it. And uh, uh, and like I say, Yvette and Chip, they they worked on <coughs> on Wayne's. Yvette did most of the work. I think. Okay. All but right. they'll they'll know the process. Well, I will reach out to them then. Say, hey, can you help us with this here? And then we'll just kind of figure out the road where we want it or how much of it and all that good stuff. A, a road or a bridge? I love the road. The road is nice. I really do. Yeah. But I just think we need to do that for our veterans. It's just a little way of keeping a little bit of respect for them. Um, that's about all I've got for open session, but I think we probably need, do need to go into closed session for the uh, other stuff. Anyone's got anything else you just want to throw at me? And, open and are we ready for the first motion? I'm going to make a motion that uh, the daddy be reimbursed for any time that she puts in working in, in the role of the uh, director's position, which she can just provide to us monthly or whenever she chooses to. Okay. Yeah, you know. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And then, I guess I'll make a motion on the empty board position that we have here. That uh, we invite Brady Cody to stand in front of everybody. See if he'll join. I second that. Second. Meeting. All right. I will be getting in touch with you.